When you have a circuit to find the maximum power transfer, how much power is being shipped to the load? Let's say you thevenize it already. You're trying to calculate how much power is being shipped to the load. Well, go okay, got you there. You want to find the power. If I know what the voltage or the current here, I'm in good shape. Because power, it's V times I, or I squared R, or V squared over R. I can use any one of those three equations. If I want to find the current through the circuit, what is the current through that? Ohm's loss is the current, is the voltage, which is V thevenin, over the sum of these, which is R load plus R thevenin. Now keep in mind what happens when we draw this problem. We usually put an arrow through that. What does the arrow mean when you see a resistor with the arrow going through it? That's an adjustable resistor. You can change the value of it. So this is a fixed value you can't touch. So when you take in, I'm going to talk about derivative in a minute. So this is a fixed value, a constant. That's also a constant. This is the only variable. That's the only one you can adjust. So you can't take the derivative with respect to this. That'll be a zero. This doesn't change. You can't take the derivative with respect to this. That's a zero. You can only take the derivative with respect to that one. That means the power here is going to be I. I'm going to use I squared times R because I already have I. And if I plug it in, this will be V thevenin over RL plus R thevenin squared times the resistor here, which is R sub L, because we're talking about the load resistor. So what is the power? Ready for calculus here? I can factor V7 out, that's a constant, squared, times R sub L over R sub L plus R7 and squared. I'm looking for the maximum power transfer. The word maximum in calculus means what? You need to take the derivative and set it equal to zero. So I need to find DP d r l with respect to r sub l and i need to set that equal to zero and what value will give me make that zero that's the value for maximum power transfer or minimum in this case would be a maximum remember that from calc one if you want to have a maximum value take the derivative set it equal to zero if it's going to happen it's going to be there so let's take the derivative this is a constant so it stays there How do you take the derivative of this? That's a fraction, we use the quotient rule. The quotient rule says at the bottom times the derivative of the top. And what's the derivative of R sub L with respect to R sub L? That's one. Minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. The top is R sub L, the derivative of the bottom. I have to use the power rule or the extended power rule. Two times R sub L plus R sub thevenin to the power of one times the derivative what's inside of that. The derivative R sub L is zero because that's a constant. The derivative R thevenin is one. The whole thing divided by the bottom squared. Clean it a little bit there. Let me factor out the constant here. Now let's look at these two. I notice they both have RL plus R7, so if I factor one out, what's left in this one? One of them. Minus what? 
two R sub L. This one here cancels one at the bottom, makes that a three instead of a four now. That's the same thing, you see it? RL plus R7. So it cancels one of these. So I have V7 squared times R7 minus R sub L over RL plus R7 to the third power. And you want to make that equal to zero. You want to take the derivative, set it equal to zero. Well, guess what? When you have a fraction and you want the fraction to be zero, the only way that will happen is what? If the top is zero. Well, V7 will never be zero. That's the number that we're sevenizing. We have a seven in circuit, so we know that's not a zero. So the only way this will be zero if what? If R7 equals R sub L, and that's the equation I was trying to derive for maximum power transfer. If you want the power to be equal, I mean, uh, to be maximum delivered to this. Since they are equal, the power will be equal. I just came out too early. But if you want a maximum power delivered to this, you want to make sure this resistor equals to that value, R7. And that's the equation I was trying to derive. Well, if these two are equal to each other, each one of them will take half the power. So how much power is going to be delivered to them then? Well, let's go back to the equation. Let's go back to this equation. That's what the power is, right? We calculate the power going to that resistor to the load. The power going to the load resistor, we did it early, we said it's V7 in square over RL plus R7 in squared times R sub L. If we let R sub L equals R7 in, do the math and see what will happen. If R sub L equals R7, we have what? V7 in? over R7 plus R7, and that's 2R sub 7 in squared times what? R7. V7 in squared over what? 4R7 in squared times R7. And what's going to happen to this R7 and one of the R7 in here? cancel each other out, so the final answer is going to be V7 in squared over 4 times R7. So how much power is going to be shipped to that load resistor? The amount of power delivered to that load resistor will be whatever V7 squared divided by 4 times R7. That's the maximum power transfer to the load.